Hey DNA fam, welcome back to our channel. This is our labor and delivery vlog. Oh boy, get ready, strap in. This is gonna be a fun ride. Hey y'all, welcome back. Y'all, I done had a baby in the pandemic. <laughs> okay, y'all, so this is our really? labor and delivery story. Oh my gosh. And y'all, this is a crazy one. I have to warn y'all ahead of time, we do have some real footage and some videos and pictures. We're going to let you know. We're LA. not showing all of them. No, not all okay. of them. Okay. We're going to, this is the name reveal for LA. Um, her nickname and so um come along on the ride this is a crazy story a story that it just happened so fast which is why we have limited um videos and stuff like that but so we're going to start at oh before we get into it please like comment subscribe to our channel you know, stay tuned for some fun and exciting and crazy things, okay? Give us a thumbs up. It don't cost you nothing, so there. All right, so we're going to start at 9.45 p.m. when I got done my... Um, I was asleep, right? At 9.45? I don't think so. I think you were... Um, getting paid Like in getting paid in the bed, okay. yeah. Right. So so I don't remember any of this part. Yeah, well, you weren't out there for this. Okay. But so we're going to start at 9:45 when I got done my midwives brew. Yes, y'all, I did a midwives brew. Which is brew? No, it's not. <laughs> which is if you haven't seen that video, you can go back and look at it. It'll be up here somewhere or in the link below. Some foolishness, y'all. Yeah, it'll be down in the Straight description box. Straight foolishness. So, um, <laughs> you can see what happened in that video with the midwives brew, but I'm going to just start off with after I had that midwife's brew at 9.45, after I finished it, my niece painted my nails. So this is the second time, it was, it's a little tradition, that she paints my nails before I go into the hospital. Okay, so she painted my nails. I'm sitting there. I had the midwife's brew, and my contractions were just getting crazy. Like I I'm almost feeling like another one coming on unless she's just moving. I think it's another one. Oh, shoot. Ugh. Oh my God, they happen so fast. Like, I had contractions earlier that day. I think I texted you and I was like, I'm having contractions. Yeah, they were only we're what? Um, hour apart. Yeah, they were like 45 minutes to an hour apart. Mm -hmm. Then they started getting like 30 minutes apart. And it wasn't that bad. I had so went home. still going out to the store. Yeah, I had went home, Before took a the nap. Rona. Before oh, Rona. Yeah. Yes. So I went home, took a nap. Um... And I really wasn't feeling that many contractions in my sleep or anything, like, where I had to wake up because they were so painful. But, um, yeah, so it wasn't after until I took the midwives for it. Okay. Okay. So. What was in it? Just to, just. What, no, what they, have to, they have to watch it. You don't got to tell them everything, but just for someone to know, why would you take that? What was the purpose of so taking that? So, basically, it? taking that, um, it makes, well, it makes your contractions, um, like, Allegedly. speed up. Allegedly. Well, look. It happened. Okay? <laughs> it makes your contraction speed up, and um, you are supposed to go into labor within 24 hours from taking this. Crazy. Y'all, I thought I had 24 hours, okay? So, what time, do you remember what time we left the house? Here? Yeah. You woke me up, it was about like 10.40. It was 10, between 10.30 and 10.40 because okay. I called Kaiser. Yes. And, so, uh, go ahead, tell them how when you call Kaiser and tell right, so them no, about my contraction. I'm asleep. And as she goes, skip. <laughs> I did not because I didn't want Peyton to get scared. I got I got I think we got to go. I think I got to go. I'm like, okay, how often do tra contractions? Every day, three to five minutes. All right, we're going to call Kaiser. Let's go. We're going to the hospital. I go get the bag, put it by the door, call Kaiser. They they are asking like, okay, is this your first second child? Okay, we don't really get worked up over contractions. Ask right. like, I'm ready to go. Yeah, she's <laughs> asking me all these questions like, so how long are they apart? And I'm like, wait a minute, this is I don't want to talk. You'll be fine. So she bent over in the living room, 
hands on her knees like she's, you know, ran three sprints on a basketball court talking about, I'm ready, the baby's coming, we gotta go. So we pack the car up, throw Ashley in, her sister jumps in <laughs> with me. They bring me in. <laughs> and then we start driving to the hospital. Oh, wait. So before we get into, before we left for the hospital, right? So when I went, wait, you were tripping in the living wait, room. Wait, so when I went to go get, to get Skip, if you've ever seen that movie, Then Line Between Love and Hate, when he was going, it was either him going to the bathtub or after going to the bathtub when his legs was crossed and he was going down the hall like this. It, that's exactly how I was. And she got halfway down the hall. I'm going to have to throw a clip in for y'all to see this. Not need. I could not make it down the hall with them terrible. contractions. So that's how bad it was. So yes, we in the car. I have some footage of me in the car going crazy because these contractions were intense. All right, y'all. I'm in between contractions so I can talk to you for a second. Um, we are on our way to the hospital. We left the house at 11.20 p.m. The contractions were unbearable. They were no joke in. So we called the hospital. Oh, God. So we get to the hospital. Oh. Her sister says, it's best if you walk. Ashley took two steps. Like, I can't walk. I can't walk. So we get a wheelchair. She won't even no, sit in I the was, wheelchair. No, I was in the hospital. You wouldn't in, even sit in the We wheelchair. went through the hospital doors, and I was in the lobby, bent over, like, I can't walk. I could not move. Skip, don't say I'm dramatic. <laughs> this is, I would like to see you go through this and have these contractions. The Lord said that's Let me tell you, me. the midwives brew, it really intensified my contractions, and it made them way worse than what they probably would have been. So question, whose fault was it? I, I already said in my last <laughs> video, I would not do the midwives brew again because although it did work, it, it was, it made these contractions intense, crazy, and it was just, it was insane, y'all. So we drop you in the wheelchair, we go to the elevator, third floor, start going down the hall. You have video for this? Yes, I had video okay. going down the hall. <laughs> and for some reason, I kept asking you, were you okay? Oh, oh Jesus. Hurry, babe, go. <sighs> huh? Mm. Oh my God. You okay, babe? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, you. Babe? I'm not okay. Oh, Jesus. All right, here we go. Here we go. You're delirious. I'm just pushing yeah. the wheelchair. I was, that pain was making me delirious. So anyway, we get into labor and delivery. The lady's asking me more questions. As they should. As no, they as should. they should not because I cannot talk. <laughs> I'm like, please. I'm like, I'm in this pain. She's they asking to me to sign you stuff. You have to sign it before you get admitted. Like, these are just technical things. I don't even and know if Ashley's I signed my correct signature. sense of time was like must have been sped up because it was not going that long yeah it was not it was taking crazy much time. i was signing up like <laughs> the way i signed my name i was like i just like was like trying to throw the pen like i don't even know what i wrote on it so then she goes ah! no laces go to the door go ahead yes, on to the door because she go was tripping that. holding me out there all that time you tripping that's what she said she was like you tripping no nah, this is your knows, second baby she knows it don't it don't matter <laughs> i didn't i was i i was induced with Peyton. y'all already know Cause that's on here, but she, she didn't feel the pain the first yes. time. This I time, felt, I had contractions the first struggling. time, but they were not like this. And I also, y'all know, I had an epidural with Peyton. So anyway, we're in the room. We get in triage, and y'all, because it's a pandemic, right? Um, there was. Or, <laughs> Why? Am I saying it wrong or something? Just had a flashback to when uh, we were in triage. Okay, so wait. So y'all, this is what I want to tell y'all. If y'all are going into having labor or, or delivery or whatever, if you're pregnant now, if you're not, whatever. Um, these hospitals, they are changing rules and changing things because of this coronavirus. Mm -hmm. And um, so originally we could have four people in the room. So my sister came with me. Um, four in triage though? No, not in triage, oh, okay. but four people in the room. Mm -hmm. So, um, because 
because they're changing rules and stuff because of this virus, um, it's only one person in the room. And I talked to someone yesterday, and his wife is pregnant, and they're talking that they may not even let anyone in the room. The husband? They may not let, some hospitals are not letting anyone in. So, that's insane. Yeah, it's crazy out here. That's terrible, though, because you need help. Like, you need support. That's how it was support. back in the day, though. Like, you, and then they call on the yeah, phone and be like, it's all right. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah. But, yes, I'm... I'm glad that didn't happen. But anyway, I had um, my clothes on in the wheelchair, right? So splash, I'm trying to take, splash, splash. I could not take my clothes off. It was, <laughs> my contractions were insane. And so I'm sitting in the wheelchair. Pop goes and, the weasel. And the weasel went pop. <laughs> and water, my water broke all over the wheelchair, okay? All over the wheelchair. Oh, oh. Jumping. I was like, my water. My water's breaking, and because the water just kept coming out, kept coming out, kept coming out. It was like a movie for real. But this was only at what time? Eleven fifty-four. Eleven fifty-four. So y'all, like we minutes. got there at ten forty-five. I mean eleven forty-five, and it was eleven fifty-four. So had we waited ten minutes later or any time later, my water would have broke in the car somewhere. Mm -hmm. So yes, my water broke. So after She's that, y'all know the contractions She's get way worse. Puddle. She's sitting in the puddle, so she she finally gets up to take off her wet clothes, done messed all over yourself, and <laughs> starts leaking down her leg again. Yes, uh, just on the like, floor. She just pissing like a dog. It was not piss. <laughs> territory this is my domain <laughs> <laughs> but she would not put on the road she bend over but naked bent over on the bed won't put on a gown I just, she I'm was sorry. stuck hey. so then we finally get the robe on she gets down the bed and then the nurses come in and start asking the questions as they should and as she's like i need some drugs no, I was saying no. I said I want. I was like, I'm, I'm. No, I was like, I want the epidural. Want the, now, y'all, remind y'all, I'm trying not to have the epidural. I said I'm gonna try natural this time. But the way that midwives brew is set up, I was like, so I want the epidural. So, Even in the car, so, I said I want to get the epidural. So, Contractions come. Ashley's screaming. She's grabbing my hands. She's making all this noise. Her sister's in the lobby and can hear her screaming and hollering out there. Text me like, is that Ashley screaming? Like, yeah, that's her being extra. And then I tell her, Ashley, focus on the breathing. Calm down. What do you mean, calm down? How you going to tell somebody <laughs> in labor having these painful, painful, off the Richter scale contractions to calm down? So he stops. So then the nurse says, all right, let me check you. Ashley's like, the baby's coming. No, I didn't say the baby was coming at that yeah, time. She said, ma'am, you're three centimeters. Baby's not coming yet. Just focus on breathing. I need that epidural. They said, let's get an order of morphine. And they bring morphine. They didn't get morphine, y'all. <laughs> Shot her in the arm. And she's like, how long is it going to take? How long is it going to take to work? I think I need another one. <laughs> no, because y'all, this it was not working. Because I feel like I they need said, another. I'm like, it, it felt like they were. No, I didn't need it. Stop. Stop, Skip. Don't say that. Y'all, it was it was just it felt like for me it felt like an eternity. It was taking forever for her to get me it was whatever the epidural, minutes. and it didn't feel like that it to me. Minutes. But it felt like it took forever to get the epidural. It took forever it to like. It takes an hour to order the epidural. You know that. Yes, but it took forever for them to give me any kind of pain medicine. I was no, thinking they had to check her vitals. They had to run her information. They had to take her blood. Like, they had to do all these things that they always do, and you want to skip all that. And, and then, right and they the was pain. asking me questions. I'm like, can't they ask you questions? Why they ask? You know the answers to these questions. So we get through all that. They give her the, the morphine, and she doesn't feel it that much. I didn't feel it at all, y'all. <laughs> because let me tell y'all something. I My contractions and the way I was dilating, it was oh faster than the the medicine. So, mm -hmm. the medicine couldn't catch up, so I wasn't, it really didn't do anything for me. So, so anyway. Roll it over to labor. Yes. And delivery. So we're in the room, her sister gets to join yes, us. Yes, thank God my sister came in. I was so grateful because at first they said it was only one person that mm -hmm. could come in. And then they were like, oh no, I think it's two. They really didn't know, thank the Lord. And then they let her in. Mm -hmm. um, so, and it really turned out to be one, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so really God was good. Right. So anyway, go ahead. So we in there, 
And as she's grabbing the sides of the rails, I mean, literally, the pregnancy from the TV is what this chick did. Screaming, hollering, it was so climbing up the bed, acting like her life was about to end. It, that's what it felt like. I could not, y'all. It was so painful. Like it was the worst pain Ashley in my life. So I felt like I was dying. Loud. It was excruciating. She like was so loud. Yes. And so, um, I was so ashamed. Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> so anyway, all right. So anyway, um, oh, okay. So let's get towards the end of this okay. part. So y'all, it was this one push. This probably was maybe. No, we're not there I, yet. I mean, not, not the push. It was this one yeah. contraction. And y'all, this probably, it wasn't even a contraction. This probably was like a half hour later um, from where she felt me when I was three centimeters. Um, this was probably like a half hour later. Um, there was this one contraction. It was contraction. It was very painful. But with this, it felt like the baby was, like I was ready to push her out. So I'm sitting there. Oh, this is like the fifth time Ashley said the baby's coming out. Yeah. From from triage to earlier, all this time no. Ashley has been saying she's about to come nah. out. I feel like she's about to come. Nah. She's coming. Lord Jesus, take the pain away. Take the pain away. Lord Jesus, 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 Jesus take, right. take, take the pain away. And the he was coming. doing it though. He was doing it though. So I was having she some fine, She's saying the baby's coming. Everyone in the room has heard her say this multiple times. No. Because your sister even said, you're not dilated yet, Ashley. That's what they thought, okay? <laughs> so anyway, so this is 30 minutes later, y'all, right? So I'm at this point, y'all, I kid you not, it felt like she was right there and I needed to push her out. I was at McDonald's, okay? If y'all ever know about that McDonald's thing, if you feel like you got to push, like it's coming out. So y'all, I literally bent my leg up and was like, forget that, I'm pushing without the nurses and everybody. I'm like, I got to get her out. So I bent my leg up and I start and I'm really was about to push y'all and then the lady was like no wait she was like well let me check you again the nurse said let me check you again so she checks to see if I'm dilated I was 10 centimeters dilated she in said, 30 minutes I went said, from 3 to 10 like, all I remember is she was saying all right we're ready to go call the doctor get such and such in here she's 10 centimeters dilated like it was like a movie. I was like, yes, let's get her out because y'all know it feels better. Well, y'all probably don't know because some of y'all are men. But it feels better to push when you are having a contraction and all that pressure down there. So I said, Ashley, I said, you're not getting the epidural. So no. Oh, yeah. It's so too late. Oh, yeah, no. So when she said, no, when she said <laughs> she's 10, she, when she said she's 10 centimeters, um, it's time to push or whatever. I was like. So does that mean I'm not getting the epidural? <laughs> it's too late. It's too late. So they said, we're going to push. She's going to come. And you're not going to get any meds, okay? Ooh, okay. Yeah, I was ready to push anyway. Doctor said, push. Said, stop. You <laughs> stop making the And then, and then the head crown. And then she pushed halfway through the second push, and, and L.A. was out. One and a half pushes, y'all. One and a half and pushes. And 45 minutes of screaming and hollering. Yes. That late. Oh, my <laughs> God. So she was born at? At 12.52. 12.52. 
a little over an hour after checking in. So my water broke at 11.54 and she was born at 12.52. Mm -hmm. Wow. That was, so, that was so quick. And y'all see why the contractions was like that. It was so fast. It was because you were foolish and drinking that witch's Guys, or midwives they don't, brew. They don't no, it wouldn't have been like that if you didn't drink that mess. Yeah, but it, yeah, okay. it worked. It, I just didn't know it was going to work so you fast. You would have went in labor. You could have got your epidural. You wouldn't have been screaming and acting and carrying on. And you would have had delivery. But you wanted to force God's hand and drink a concoction. And so you got what you wanted. Well, yeah, but God was with me doing it. He, <laughs> I, was, I was calling on him and he was... Jesus, Jesus. He was showing up. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Ooh, it's the worst I ever felt. Yeah, them, that breathing, <gasps> them breathing techniques weren't working. But when I called on the Lord's name, it, it was I had some breaks. <laughs> so anyway, is there anything else we would like to say about our labor and delivery before we reveal her name I'm and say show this. her? So after going through all of that, and then they were about to move us to the next room. There was another lady that came in after Ashley, and the nurses was like, and she's like, "How did I do?" They're like, "Oh, you did great, honey. You did good." I'm like, "They lying." No, <laughs> no, they told me that. They told they me lying. that. No, so wait, they so told me that. I'm they telling said, this part of no, the story. because that's not what they said. They, did say they you said, did good. although you may not think you did good, they said you did really good. She did really well. That's what they said. And then like we had another lady come in, and Ashley, oh, another lady in birth. She said. They said, yeah, she came in hot like you. No, I said she came in hot. They was like, yeah, she came in like you. I was like, oh, she came in hot? That's what happened. No, two women bent back, screaming and hollering and carrying on. I said, she must have had that mid bro. <laughs> so that, that's it. That's our story. That's our story, y'all. It short was so sweet. pretty. It was short and sweet. It really did happen very fast. She drank some mess. Yes. And so, um. We just getting into some mess. Yeah, so we have mm -hmm. skipped cutting the umbilical cord yeah, and saying. finally got it on this one because we didn't get it with Peyton. I cut hers though. Yeah, I know, but we didn't get the footage or mm -hmm. anything. So, um, at least it was a little tough. It was like scissors weren't cutting at first. Yeah, but it finally came out. All right, y'all. So, without further ado, check out or introducing to you, you can say her name. Lauren Ashley Ramsey. Yay! Here she goes. Got it, I got it. I'm getting it. Oh my God! Hi. Oh, you crying? y'all that is our little lauren ashley so lauren was born 12 52 mm -hmm. on march 12 2020 she was seven pounds five ounces 19 and a half inches long mm -hmm. and believe it or not as small as she looks she was actually bigger than peyton i know was crazy it was so crazy we were like she's so little and it was like peyton was even smaller yeah and she wasn't, and I keep, we keep saying this, but she wasn't swollen like Peyton. Mm -hmm. Like that baby, look how babies be looking all waterlogged and swollen and stuff coming out. Yeah, but Lauren looks, look like a baby. She's so cute. She's so cute. Oh, and those pictures, um, some of those pictures that you did see, um, I did a photo shoot, a home photo shoot, because a lot of places canceled. They're not doing it right now because of this virus. But, um, Shameless plug, she's trying to be a photographer. No, I'm not. I'm definitely not. I don't want to do that again. So don't <laughs> ask me. Please don't ask me about that. I don't want to do it again. But anyway, that's it. That's our labor and delivery story. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got a little laugh out of it and it took your mind off of some of the craziness that's going on in our country and in the world right now um and we've been on lockdown yes so well, we'll have no to, one's coming to see her no mm -hmm. visitors so There's, we'll have to do some more videos and stuff since we got time well you he's still working but anyway we got a little bit more time um, i'm considered essential yeah Yes, <laughs> but um, I will have mommy vlogs coming, and if if we have fifty likes on this, I'll show y'all a clip of 
um, Peyton meeting Lauren. Oh, okay. Meeting Lauren, so. 50 likes? Yes, That's they it. are so cute together. 50 likes? 50 likes? 100 likes? No, 50 is good. Okay, 50 likes. Um, so yes, y'all, please like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and um, and to continue su to support us and our channel and our family. And um, we will see y'all on the next one. Anything? All right. See y'all.